six new Chelsea dolls, a really special one, and the clubhouse coming up after this. I guess there's seven dolls. Okay, I thought I had this whole complete set, and I guess I kind of did, because these are the five that you see together when you're searching for it on the internet. But I went into the store the other day, well, yesterday, and I found at Walmart, well, I didn't know I had her, but I did. Now, as you can see, wait a minute. I mixed them up. This one right here is the one I found yesterday because notice how the backgrounds are different now I think that the original five came with cardboard accessories so you can see in this one that there's a pinwheel in the background and each of them have a different accessory on the card in the back I guess it's a cardboard accessory maybe it's just a picture but usually you can punch that stuff out uh, I don't see. Oh, it's something behind Barbie's hair there. I mean, Chelsea's hair. Baby Barbie. But on these two, they all look the same. They all have the same thing. And there's a bigger sun on the original five. But I did not know I had this one. She looked different. I thought I had one with a puppy sweater. But I do obviously have her so i'm gonna return this one to the store and i'm gonna open up my original one chelsea with a dinosaur t-shirt bobby with a pizza outfit bobby with a i call them bobby can't even make it what's on that t-shirt it's either a goat head or two penguins kissing how do i still not know what that is oh it's an upside down it's an upside down puppy head there's just be you with an emoji skirt is this the first redhead? I don't remember ever having a redhead before and her sunglasses are sunflower and very special. And then her outfit. So when I saw her, I was like, oh my goodness, she's so cute. She's a rocket ship top on and then some starry skirt and her hair's up. All of the other ones look like they were the same. Like I said, I thought I didn't have this one. Hey, I didn't show you her. She has a fierce t-shirt on with a tiger with a crown of roses. It's a really, really cute series. Let's just put those up here like this. We need to open up a place for the kids to play. So we're going to open up this clubhouse. Barbie Club Chelsea. I got this for, I don't know, 50, 60, maybe 80% off. I'm not sure. It comes with lots of accessories. The package was kind of open, but I believe I opened it up and checked. Now I feel bad that I didn't get this full collection. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I got the full collection of the new ones, but I got the two boys, and I'm not sure I got any of the other girls from that series. I did get the two pack of ballerinas, I believe. But this is an older set, but these new kids need a place to stay. That's why collecting the Chelsea, it's kind of, you can't get every Chelsea because they're just Chelsea in different outfits. So it's kind of wrong to do that. And then the Chelsea that we get, oh, she looks so different. Her eyes are different. I'll just rip her out of here right away. Oh, her head stapled to the back. I sure hope everything's in here. Are there instructions? Oh yeah, they're in here. Two bags, a clubhouse. I certainly hope everything's in here. Really cute on the back here. Oh, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's see. Yeah, she's got like these 80s Brooke Shield. I'm making Brooke Shield references a lot these days. But she's got really dark eyebrows. So I think that's kind of cool because she doesn't look like Chelsea. Chelsea usually has blonder hair. Just like when collecting Barbie, I don't want to get so many Barbies and so many Chelsea's. I want to get different characters, but they issue so many of the same characters. Okay, Chelsea's hair is not up to the Barbie standards. Whenever you get a Barbie, even the cheapest beach playline, you get really soft hair. Chelsea, I guess because she's smaller, they tend to give the more stiff hair, and she does have the more stiff hair, but now you can see the eyebrows on her. And look at that cute t-shirt. Always these cute, like, vintage patterned t-shirts. Gotta love that. That looks so cute. Really liking her hair color and eyebrows. She's a little cutie. I guess I'm gonna have to open up Chelsea over here to make a comparison to show you that this might not even be Chelsea. It looks like the 
Treehouse is going to have to wait. They're putting these little elastics around their hair recently, like headbands. Kind of a strange thing to do. It does look good. I'm not sure if it's like holding the hair. I guess it's a new kind of accessory. I like it. So I'm going to keep those on. I think they're supposed to be on there and they look cute. That t-shirt looks so cute. Oh, with dinosaur vegetation on the skirt too. And of course she's got green little shoes to match the dino. What kind of dinosaur is that? Is it a brontosaurus? I believe that's what that would be called. And a polka dot with pink trim on that. And she's got little sandals on. Man, she's cute. They're cute. And I love that she looks different. Okay, maybe it says what her name is. There's no way it says what her name is, but here's all the pieces you get. And then it shows instructions for closing it. And I guess inside, we're gonna have building instructions. Oh man, there's a swing. How did I not even notice that? and the building instructions. So I'm going to put it together right now and put Chelsea inside. You can stare at them while I'm building. Okay, number one says put this on the base. Maybe I'm not going to edit this. Number two, it says to do something with these. And then to go outwards. This is a really cute set, actually. And then you take the swing and you put that on here. Oh, look, the swing has a little place for them to click into. There we go. Cute. That's cute, it's looking cute. Oh my goodness, what a great set this is. I got a really good deal on it too. I don't remember what it was, I just know that it was a real good deal. It could have been like an 80% off day. And then it says to put her on it. Maybe I'll just stick her on it, why not? What a cute set. I like how her legs are like that too. Okay, and then you open it up. Then you can put down the slide. You can put on the ladder on this side. Probably should have moved everything and put it up here for you to see. I have a feeling it's gonna fall over. So many fun little accessories. Did I show you the puppy yet? It came with a puppy. Can you believe that? Whoa! Okay, this isn't a very flat surface. I'm gonna zoom in on this later and show you some of the great accessories and stuff. I mean, some of the great detail and molds and stuff. That is everything you set up. Oh, there's a telescope I think you're supposed to put on somewhere. Telescope, right here, cute. It's got a little handle, so you could hold that up. But I think you can clip that into the window right here. And then we have a little table here, a pink table. And you can put drinks on there, and it comes with one drink. You can see the drink on the, oh, it's a juice box? No. Yeah, it's a juice box. Kids love juice boxes. And then you have this little cupcake on a plate. I don't think that cupcake is removable though. It's gonna be hard to eat that off the plate because it's stuck on there. And then again, on the bottom of that, it just has the same little plug-in system. You can stick that in here, like so. And then there's two very awesome little pink chairs. How can you not love those? Those are adorable. Old fashioned -y. like they're at a Paris diner. Adorable. Okay, I'm gonna have to definitely support this a little better because if the kids are gonna come and play on here, it's gonna have to be well supported. And I think I do have something that's going to allow it to be more safe. However, it is under my camera. I'm just gonna lift you up and put you back down. And then I'm going to adjust you again, center you a bit more. I'm gonna show you some of the great details on this. Does this open? Oh my goodness, that door opens. That is so cool. And then you can see the wood grain on the floor, I hope. Oh! And over here, there's some more great detail. And the very cute, like, it looks very vintage-y artwork for the front and the back with all the little animals and the tree with a face. So now I have to switch this box again, playing musical boxes. I'm gonna put this up here like this. I have to go down here and find the chair. Look at the little, oh, the doghouse on the bottom. That is adorable. Isn't that adorable? So I got it really close for you. I'm gonna open it up the ladder the, up here like that. The seating here. It comes with two other things that I haven't showed you yet. I guess since I've already showed you Chelsea, I'm gonna put this mask on her. Look at that. She is dressed up as an owl, a dinosaur loving owl. And oh, her legs spread out really far when she sits down. I'm not sure if she's gonna be able to sit in the chair up here. I think you'd have to take 
it down here for her to sit in the chair. I gotta put the puppy in this doghouse, first of all. That's super important that he's in there. She can kind of sit down if she has to in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she sits well. She's sitting down in the chair. I kind of think it's cute how her legs are sticking out because she doesn't have knees. Is there a Chelsea cartoon? Does Chelsea have friends and do they name who they are? I'm taking Brooke out of the swing. I'll give you a better close-up of that swing later. We have one more mask and it is a little foxy mask. Look at how cute that is. And I will stand her over here. I gotta take that glare off there. They need a little boyfriend. So let's open up one of the boys. You might have noticed if you've seen these, their heads have been twisting by themselves. I actually opened up the package a little bit so I could turn his head back around because mine too had their heads switched all around and I've noticed that this is quite a phenomenon and their heads just don't turn to the side. They turn right around just like some kind of Halloween movie. Okay, there's no perforation on this. There's usually something that you can punch out to get the little toy out, but there isn't and it is just a dinosaur. It's so funny, they could have given them a name, but instead they gave them a logo. So I guess she's gonna be called Dino Girl, and he's gonna be called Beach Ball Boy. I usually call him Bobby. He's got little, would you say that those shoes are pink? On, he's got some distressed denim shorts, really cool sleeveless t-shirt, gun show here, and a little puppy patterned shirt. Pattern's not just on one side. Let's put him up here at the top of the stairs in the playhouse. Take a look at Pinwheel Girl. You know what, they probably were gonna have those punched outable and they didn't do it at the last minute. They must have changed their mind because usually they are punchable. Punch outable. Punch outable. She's got really cute little shoes on and like I showed you before, she has the tiger head with a rose crown, and she's got one of those elastic hair bands. And her hair is of the wiry type, but she is also cute. And I don't know what her name is. She's going to be standing in the doorway there. Oh, there we go. And then next, the little redhead. I can't remember ever seeing a little Chelsea redhead before. None of those little girls are redheads. There hasn't been a red-headed boy fashionista. I'm waiting for one. No red-headed boys or girls yet. Oh, what am I talking about? Here is one right now. She's got little white sneakers on, and then she's got this emoji gingham skirt, and on her t-shirt it says, just be you. That's the message that is the most important to me too. She has on a pair of sunflower sunglasses. I'm gonna have to unelastic that. So we're gonna have to see how those look on. You know what, I don't even think they're sunglasses. I think they're regular glasses. Be careful not to pull on your sunglasses when they're elastic banded to their head. I have bent some and I, in fact, I did bend these ones. It just weakens it when you bend it back especially. Oh, that's the second time I did that, today. Yeah, these aren't sunglasses, they're sunflower glasses. Look at her. She's very eccentric. They're kind of the most eccentric glasses I've ever seen in my life. Oh man, just be you. She's definitely being herself. We will place her over here. I think I got her glasses on crooked, but it's just gonna have to do it. Look how happy everybody is. This is really cute. She's doll girl. So she had a doll on the back of her card. She's Dolly, so we're gonna call her. Okay, we've got two more. Let's do Pizza Bobby. He's actually Trucker Boy. That's a Jeep. We're gonna call him Jeep. So here he is, Jeep. He's got tacos, pizza, and burgers on his shirt. That is wacky crazy. Tacos, burgers, and pizza. And then on the back, it's more of this like fluorescent green. Matches the piping. And he's got these red shorts which this is all one piece outfit. Was this one piece for him too? Yeah, it looks like they one piece the boys outfits. Sometimes they don't do that. Sometimes they give them extra shorts. I can't believe I never thought to check that out. I'm gonna stand him down here with the other boy. And then last but not least, we've got the new rocket girl. And she doesn't have a special little something on the back. I love this hairdo though. So cute. I don't know if I showed you his footwear. He's wearing white sneakers. And did I show you her footwear? She's wearing white sneakers too. Are they the same white sneakers? 
They're the same white sneakers. Those dino shoes are really, really cute, though. They're like moccasins. I've never seen those before. Those are my favorite shoes, it looks like. And I didn't show you her little pink sandals. I'm sure I didn't show you those. Because those are super duper cute. Please don't fall, everybody. We're doing so well. Okay, she has this strappy yellow pair on. I showed you before in the package. She's stars and a rocket ship. She's rocket girl. Rocket girl. And her hair is softer and really cool. Oh, there everyone's down. They get so tired. They've been playing all day. This playhouse is just so much fun for them. All right, I'm going to show you more details of this stuff at the end. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to swing around the treehouse and you can take a good look at it. I hope that you will like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Oh my goodness, this video was a little bit of a disaster, but this treehouse is really super duper cute. Come on kids, out of the way. So many kids. I'm babysitting. It's like Babysitter's Club over here. Okay, it closes up. So you have to put up the slide, and then that goes in there. You have to take the ladder away. And then it's got this little hook. So you have to have it up. Like that. Oh, that's why they have that little thing there to hold the hook. And then you close it. The hook comes and latches onto there. Isn't that awesome? And then you have this little half door that opens. So cute there. So how do you get up to that? Never thought about that. It's not like you can put the ladder anywhere. That's not very convenient at all. That door is always going to open <laughs> to you falling out. Because the ladder goes over here. Maybe if you put... No, there's no way. So you could put one side in, and then you could have one side out. You could put this side in. And this side out, slide down, and both sides closed in. Inside the door, there's always these details. I keep finding them. It says Chelsea, and then you can see the wood boards there. You have to make sure when you're closing it that you have this door closed, and then you have this latch into there. So then it falls into that little notch there. But then you can close it up. Then you can pull this around. It's the only way that it's going to happen. You can take off this log if you want to. But the swing is pretty awesome, and I did promise that I was going to show you more of the swing action. Let's put one of the boys on the swing, and let's see if we can swing him without hurting him. Oh my goodness, my thing is all off-centered. What a disaster. This video was a complete disaster, but at least it was a lot of fun. It says Chelsea on the swing bottom. Again, I keep noticing things. See, it says Chelsea on there. You have to spin these to get them in the right direction to hook them on to the branches here. I'm gonna push him on the swing. Can you push him too high that he falls off? Oh, Bobby! Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> kind of creepy. Halloween is coming though, guys. Who wants another turn at the swing? Anybody else want to turn at the swing? I wonder if somebody was wearing an owl and a fox outfit in the last series that these masks will go to. Oh! Bobby! It does show on the box that you can balance. There's no place for the ladder to click into, but you can balance it there, and then they can go up. And then also I noticed there's actually some little wooden steps put up on the log there, so you could also do that. So. I was being a little hard on the functionality of the door here. I mean, it's not very safe. Either that ladder's not very safe, and that's also not very safe. No kids of mine would be allowed to be playing in this fort. 